New Journal and Guide. Subscribe today. Please give a Spartan, Norfolk State University Spartan welcome to Secretary Jones. Good morning, everybody. You know, um, that's a that's a kind introduction. I, I think um, the uh, the piece of the introduction that um, was not mentioned that is for me the greatest blessing of all is uh, that I'm a father of a nine-year-old. And uh, that's really what I want to talk to you about today is my nine-year-old daughter and, uh, and my relationship with her. Um, now, I'm going to tell you at the outset, I am not unbiased about my nine-year-old daughter. <laughs> All right? So, and I don't aspire to be unbiased about my nine-year-old daughter. She is uh, my wife and, and my, my greatest blessing. Without a doubt. And so I thought that's what I would talk to you about this morning. I, I want to thank you for uh, having me here. Um, it's nice to see everybody on a Saturday morning. Now, I put a tie on. Those of you who know me, um, I do have a nine year old daughter. Her name is Michaela. And um, she has taught me a lot, and what I'd, what I'd like to do is to share with you um, what the nine years have taught me, and then what I aspire to try to teach her. Uh, and I promise you, she has probably taught me way more than, than I've taught her. Uh, and um, this is all in the, uh, in the context of, for me, how important father-daughter relationships are to both parties, to both parties, starting from day one. So uh, let me start with the first lesson that she teaches me every day. So this morning, I get up. I go to the Y, I play a little basketball, or I get roughed up by younger guys. <laughs> Come home, I hop in the shower, I get out. As I say, I put my suit on and I put my tie on and I walk out and there's my daughter. And I say, good morning, baby. And she says, mommy, is daddy gonna wear that tie? <laughs> and mommy looks back at her and says, nope. And Michaela says, I didn't think so. And daddy changed the tie. <laughs> This is not the original time. So the first lesson is I'm not in charge. And so no matter whether I'm called secretary or president or mister or whatever, the bottom line is I'm definitely not in charge in my house. Um, she, she keeps me humble. In seriousness, um, I used to coach my, uh, my daughter's basketball uh, teams. She's now way too good for me to try to coach her at nine. Um, but I started out at the Y. And um, what we tried to do at the Y was to focus our players on sportsmanship, right, on fair play, on learning to love the game, on uh, working with your teammates, on trusting your teammates. Those were the things that um, we were trying to teach them. And I can remember my daughter uh, after one game where I, I thought she had just really, really uh, played pretty well. Uh, we were not keeping the score. We, we agreed as a coaching staff and as a program that we would not keep score, right? So we could focus the, the children on these things that we thought were most important. 
And I remember going up to my daughter after a game and embracing her and saying, good game, sweet pea. And she looked at me with a big smile and she said, Daddy, we won. <laughs> and I said, no, 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 baby. Bo both teams won. Both teams played well. And she said, Daddy, I was keeping score. <laughs> she said, we scored 12, they scored 10. <laughs> I clumsily fumbled uh, trying to figure out what to say, and then I realized, you know what? Her keeping score is part of what uh, inspired her to play better. And, and then I thought about, at that time, the analogy to what I was trying to do at the Virginia Pilot, uh, which is to teach my folks to keep score so we would actually perform better as a business. Keep score on how early we deliver your paper. Keep score on how accurate we are. Keep score on whether we're treating Norfolk State and ODU, for example, equitably. All those things. And I thought, you know what? She's right. We should be keeping score because part of keeping score is inspiring you to actually uh, do better. So I remember going to the coaches after that game, going, you know what? The kids are keeping score, right? <laughs> and actually, their keeping score is motivating them to hustle. So I'm not sure that it's a bad idea to keep score. She, she taught me that lesson, and uh, she keeps teaching me that lesson. He taught me that you cannot ever be defeated. That there will be days when you win a few, and there will be days when you lose a few, but that you cannot be defeated. And that's something that I am trying to teach my daughter. Right? That she's going to win a few, she's going to lose a few. The key is not that she loses. The key isn't even that she wins. The key is that she gets back up after she loses, right? And that in the terminology of basketball, that she concentrates on the next play. That's something that we can teach our daughters verbally and most importantly in the way we live, right? Don't ever be defeated, right? So my daughter is my greatest blessing. This production has been brought to you by Image Entertainment.